Hi guys, uh, welcome to another edition of the Free Exchange of Ideas with John. Donovan is working, uh, and so I'm just going to do a few things real quickly. Not what we were going to do, uh, but just kind of side notes. I actually wrote notes because there's four things I want to talk about. Uh, slap heard around the, the Hollywood, that would be the, the Will Smith and Chris Rock thing. I'll talk about that real quickly. Uh, Trudeau versus Christine Anderson, who is a German member of EU Parliament. This is really good. Um, also, uh, to kind of tie in the, the slap thing from uh, the Oscars, uh, there's a guy called Billy Prepa, P-R-E-P-E-H, from New Jersey. He's running for the ninth, uh, uh, I'm sorry, New Jersey's ninth district in Congress. Uh, he makes a couple of notes here that I want to read to you because they're really, uh, they are deep state, deep dives into um, these specific things. And I'll talk about them. And the fourth thing is Jesse Smollett, the, the, his appeal case, which is probably going to be based on uh, Bill Cosby's appeal and how he got out of jail. And we'll discuss all those. But first, I want to go back to the, the the Will Smith and Chris Rock thing. First off, I have learned in my life, it's never okay to slap somebody or hit somebody unless it's in defense of yourself or others, physical defense of others. So defending your wife's honor is not a reason to slap the crap out of somebody. Uh, on top of the fact that as he walked up there, Chris Rock put his hands behind his back. I don't know if he knew for certain what was going to happen. I honestly think he, he believed that uh, Will Smith might say something to him. I doubt very much that he thought he was going to get hit. But when he got hit, if you look at his right hand, as he came back, his left foot was forward. His right hand was in a fist. I think he was that close to hitting Will Smith back and was able, amazingly enough... To hold himself back. I'm honestly not sure that I could have done that myself. I think it would have been a reaction and I might not have been able to correct it in time. He did an amazing thing. And he has uh, stated in multiple uh, interviews that he has an issue with his anger and his anger scares him. He sees a therapist for it. That is impressive. That he was able to control his temper in a split second and saved the day by sticking with his, sorry about that, uh, adjusting myself in my seat, by sticking with his um, uh, therapy training and able to uh, diffuse the situation a, little bit, a situation a little bit better. Now, as I understand it, more stuff is coming out as we go along, but today uh, I heard that the police were there and they were prepared to arrest Will Smith for battery, uh, which is in this case, there were literally millions of um, witnesses. So had he been arrested and prosecuted, he, he certainly could have seen time. I think he certainly could have seen time, especially with his previous training for the movie Muhammad Ali and the way he keeps himself up. Uh, he certainly could have been in some serious trouble. Still might be. It's not... It's not known for certain if he will be. So, that's one thing. I want to tie this to Billy Prepa because what Billy has done, he, he made a video, and I'll put a link in the description box later because uh, I'm doing this on my phone in my car, so it'll take a little bit of time. But he did a, a video about what is also going on at this time. It's, and this is really important, uh, and I'll tie it all together. But while, uh, while this was going on at, at the um, Oscars, or just, be, just prior to it, I think a Friday or Saturday before it, uh, Putin had uh, made a video, a statement, basically, saying that he was no longer going to accept the U.S. petrodollar or uh, European Union... I'm sorry, not European Union, the euro for fuel oil. He was only going to accept gold or 
Russian rubles. Now, Russian rubles are not very common outside of Russia. Gold, however, is. And he has tied the Russian ruble to gold. So as gold goes up, so will the Russian ruble in uh, uh, worth. So uh, also that by not accepting the U.S. petrodollar, it hurts the U.S. Uh, financially because um, Saudi, the Saudis and uh, e, uh, UAE, uh, all of those countries that do oil can sell their oil to Russia or whoever they feel like. But Russian oil, which is tied to the um, Nord Stream 2 pipeline that goes from Russia to through Ukraine to Germany. Um, that's going to be a big thing. Uh, and the reason that's a big thing is because... Oh, it's coming apart. Great. Um, Germany, which is where the, the, pipes, the pipeline goes to first, from Russia to, to uh, Germany. Germany was... Uh, right behind France, one of the largest nuclear-powered countries on the planet. Um, they were almost exclusively nuclear-powered uh, electric and uh, actually electricity. So, one, it's green. Two, it's really, really good uh, power source. And three, it's cheap. I mean, after initial... Uh, out ca or outlays of money to build, it becomes cheap very, very quickly. And it's one of the few um, power sources where we can uh, control the waste. Uh, it takes a very, very long time, but the waste is controlled and it's in a, sp a specific place. So, with all that said, Russia has fought back financially very well. Uh, or Putin, in this case, has fought back financially very, very well. He's he's put the United States on notice that he's not going to lay down and, and quit. He's not going to allow uh, these people or anybody to just tell him yay or nay. I'm going to pause this for a second. I got to do something. Thanks for pausing with me. All right. So you know what? I've got another thing that goes along with that. Now, when Trump was in office, and some of this might irk some of you, but when Trump was in office, he put uh, sanctions on the Nord Stream pipeline so that it could not be completed to Germany. That kind of irked uh, Germany, but it forced them to reevaluate their nuclear system. Because what was happening was that most of their nuclear plants were coming to a 20-year mark, which is where they either have to shut them down or uh, do major uh, maintenance and upgrades. And they had elected to uh, shut them down and accept oil from Russia, which is kind of weird to me because those two countries had been at war literally since the Vikings. So um, I don't understand that thought process from Germany. They were doing just fine. It wouldn't have cost that much more to upgrade their uh, aging power plants to continue doing what they were doing. Uh, it certainly wouldn't have cost any more than what they put into the pipeline. But they thought oil would be cheaper over the long run. And I honestly believe that they were wrong. That was an Angela Merkel thing. So I'm not sure where they were going with that. Nonetheless, um, all that being said, Joe uh, Biden comes into office and says, no Nord Stream, no Keystone. Uh, cancels a shit ton of um, uh, leases, oil leases for oil companies to drill. Now that's kind of important because while he says they still have thousands of leases, they do. But some of those leases either don't have oil, uh, are too expensive and can't be uh, recouped, or are in places where they can't really drill. They can't really get equipment in there or whatever. Uh, not all of them, but some of them, a, a significant portion of them. And that's why we're paying $6 plus a gallon of gas right now. <coughs> Pardon me. 
So, between those three things, especially with, with Biden, who the fuck does he work for? Does he work for us? Or does, does he work for the United States uh, citizen to make sure that we're safe, to make sure that we can uh, accomplish the things that we need to accomplish? Or does he work for Russia or China? I mean, I know that everybody was talking about that with Trump, but to be perfectly honest, there was never this level of shit from Trump uh, internationally. So uh, you can take that for what it's worth, or you can argue with me. I'm, that's what the comment section are for. But what I'm saying is true, and y'all know it. Now, the reason I bring that up is because it was the same time that that, uh, that Will Smith and Chris Rock slap happened. So what are the news services focusing on? The slap, not the loss of the petrodollar, because Putin only supplied, well, I should say Russia only supplied about 3% of our oil import. It's not a lot for us, but it's a lot for them. Uh, but they supply so much more to the rest of the EU because they're close to China because they can. They're also not far from China, one end to the other. And uh, uh, they... They can still make some decent money. And by hurting and by not accepting the petrodollar, they are financially hurting the United States, who are we're already in debt up to our actually we're underwater as far as our debt's concerned, which is irksome to me. Not much I can do about it. Uh and that is a that is a Republican and Democrat thing. That's not just one or the other, believe me, when I say that. Um we all Oh, money, whether you're a conservative or, or a liberal or libertarian, doesn't matter. If you're in the United States, we all owe money and we shouldn't. So, moving on, uh, Jesse Smollett, Smollett. He's out on bail. Actually, he's not out on bail. Uh, actually, his, his um, sentence has been um, pushed while he's on appeal. Now, his appeal is probably going to be working on the same uh, efforts as Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby's appeal was based on, he had made a deal with the prior uh, DA in, uh, I don't know, whichever state he, he got burned in. He made a deal with the prior DA. Uh, that DA lost his office, uh, and a new DA came in and said, hey, I don't like that deal because you're not doing any service. You're not serving any time. You're not paying any fines, blah, blah, blah. Charged him and and uh, convicted him, got him convicted. Bill Cosby's attorney went back after, I think he'd been in jail or been in prison for a couple of years at this point, went back and said, hey, we had a deal with the DA's office. Didn't matter who was the DA, but we had a, a deal with the DA's office. We would... Uh, confess to a couple of things in order to avoid jail time, but pay um, libel fees, or I mean, not libel fees, um, civil fees, civil uh, appointments to some of the women. I think some of the women didn't uh, appreciate, well, I know none of them appreciated it because, again, he's, he would be out running around free, which is what he is now. But I think that's what Jesse Smollett is going to base his appeal on. Uh, they had a deal with the previous DA, so the DA's office. And then the new DA came in and said, hey, you did so much damage to the cause that you you really need to be serving time. And even, even then, 150 days is less than five months. In jail, so he wouldn't be doing any serious time, anything. He'd probably be protected in jail as well. Nonetheless, he destroyed his his career, he destroyed his reputation, and he hurt the reputation of, in my opinion, Black Lives Matter, the entire in, entirety of the core what of what is Black Lives Matter by doing it by doing this thing. Um, I, I think he's probably going to get uh, 
his appeal. I think he's probably going to win. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, to be honest. It's obviously a good thing for him. He can continue doing whatever it is that he's going to do at this point. But I, I, I fear that this is going to set back the movement quite a bit. Now, I'm not a promoter of Black Lives Matter or, uh, or any of that. I don't discount what they're saying either. But uh, there's, there's been too much in and out, rigmarole, money going two different places, that kind of thing, in that group that uh, I don't think group is doing good work anymore. What I do think is that, that they need, the, the problems need to be recognized and um, addressed. But the way some of these folks are going about it, I feel is wrong. Now, I'm white, so you can take that with a grain of salt, no pun intended. But that's what I think. And that's all I got for you. I'll put some links in the, in the description box for a couple of these things. And uh, you can follow up on your own. The Bill Cosby thing, for sure. Um, uh, let me see. I want to make sure I get his name. Billy Prepa. P-R-E-P-E-H. Run for the 9th District uh, Congress seat in uh, New Jersey. And uh, I don't think you need the the link for the slap because, my God, you can find it anywhere. So, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate your your support and, uh, and just saying hi. If you would, please hit that like button. Actually, I think it's over here. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I'd really like to know. That's the truth. All right. You guys have a great night. And uh, I'll talk to you later.